some years ago when I was the chair of the Pastoral Associates here at Mission Peak, our minister announced that he was going to be leaving. In preparing for how that situation would be experienced by the congregation, I developed a training for the Pastoral Associates about grief when a minister leaves. We've been through some ministerial changes recently, so I thought that maybe some of the lessons from that training might be helpful to the congregation now. Research in the process of grieving by several researchers shows that there are several stages that people go through in grief. They've been adapted here for a situation when a minister leaves. First, anticipatory grief. In the few first days or weeks or so after the announcement of the departure, the congregation members experience periods of anticipatory grief. They may be sad, disappointed, abandoned, relieved, angry, or something else. Sometimes it's all in the same person. Those who never liked the minister or are disappointed with their ministry will feel relief and joy and might not feel able to share that. So some of the members of the congregation may react after the minister leaves in these stages. Shock, when a minister actually leaves, the bereaved may experience periods of shock. Catharsis, there's a release of emotion. After the shock wears off, the immensity of the loss begins to grip the bereaved, and as one emotion services, others flow in a flood. Next is depression. When all have gone back to their business as usual way of existence, some may experience depression or despair. Some may feel guilty over something said or done that the depart to the departed, and it's very common after a loss. Some people can become obsessed with thoughts about the departed. This isn't a condition, but it ebbs and flows. Anger. When anger is manifested, it usually means that one is beginning to come out of depression and preoccupation. Grieving people often focus their anger on various individuals and objects, friends, relatives, churches, or even the person who's departed. And finally, adapting to reality. The futility of withdrawal, reality dawns on the person who now goes on to be a stronger, emotionally more healthy person. So how do we respond to people who are bereaved? Or how do we respond to ourselves in this situation? Something that might be helpful in this situation is to try to recognize what stage the person is in. The appropriate kind of care in the first few days and weeks after a minister departs is different from the care required months later. The kinds of things that help in grieving when a minister leaves are similar to the things that help in grieving in general. Acknowledging the minister's leaving with others in spiritual community, sharing happy memories, remembering the good things that the minister wanted for us, knowing that there will be ups and downs, but realizing that in the end, we will become stronger, and just being there for each other now and in the long haul. The interim minister's job, um, I think she knows this, <laughs> is to work with the congregation to reclaim the good, let go of the yuck, and figure out how they want to move forward in the future. Throughout this, the pastoral care team deals with grief issues. At the end of the interim, if all goes well, the congregation will go on to be a stronger, emotionally healthier organization. So may it be.